ओके गूगल टर्न ऑफ द लाइट गूगल टर्न ऑन द लाइट गूगल टर्न ऑन फैन गूगल टर्न ऑफ द फैन गूगल टर्न ऑन द टीवी गूगल टर्न ऑफ द टीवी गूगल टर्न ऑन म्यूजिक टर्न ऑफ म्यूजिक गूगल टर्न ऑन टेबल लैम्प टर्न ऑफ टेबल लैम्प गूगल टर्न ऑफ राइस लाइट टर्न ऑन द राइस लाइट लेट सी हाउ टू मेक इट ओपन प्ले स्टोर सर्च फॉर ब्लिंक एंड इंस्टॉल इट create a new account using gmail id as i have already created i will go for login click on new project give project name as home automation select hardware as node mcu and click on create an authentication token will be sent to your link gmail id open widget box select button here i have taken six buttons as per my project requirements place the buttons in right position Tap on first button, name it as light. Select output pin as digital D not. Change the low state as one and high state as zero. Change the mode from push to switch. Configure the remaining buttons as shown. Tap on play button and this completes the Blink app setup. Now open your Gmail. Click on mail which has been sent from the Blink app. Copy the authentication token. Open browser from your mobile. Search for if3bt.com and open it. Create an account using the Gmail ID. Click on continue with Google. Now choose the same Gmail ID which has been linked with the Blink app. Click on profile, select create. Click on this. Search for Google Assistant and select it. Choose trigger as say a simple phrase. Now type the command which you want your Google Assistant to follow. Type the command which you want in response from Google Assistant. Click on Create Trigger. Click on that. Search for Web Hooks and select it. Click on Make a Web Request. Type the Blink app URL as shown on the display. Give a forward slash paste the authentication token which you have copied from the Gmail slash update. Slash D16. D16 is the GPIO pin conversion of D0 pin, which we have selected for the light button in Blink app. 
Select method as put. Select content type as application slash JSON. Type zero in double quotes within square bracket, which indicates the digital input signal to turn on the light. Click on create action, then finish. Your Google Assistant is ready to respond for the switch on command. Now type the command which you want your Google Assistant to follow. Type the command which you want in response from Google Assistant. Click on create trigger, click on that, search for webhooks and select it. Click on make a web request. Now paste the Blink app URL slash authentication token slash update slash D16. Select method as select type as application slash JSON. Type 1 in double quotes within square brackets which indicates the digital input signal to turn off the light. This was the setup for the light button to turn it on and off. Similarly configure the remaining 5 buttons as shown. To save the time I have fast forwarded the video. And also don't forget to change the typical digital pin name to its GPIO pin name.
click on profile now go to my applets here you can see total 12 applets are created in which 6 are turning on and 6 are turning off for this you need to install Arduino software in your PC open the Microsoft store search for Arduino and install it now open the software copy the code whose link is given in the description and paste it you need to make few changes in your program type the authentication token your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password save the program go to tools Select board as Node MCU 1.0 and select COM port according to your PC. Upload the program to Node MCU. The code has been successfully uploaded. Before opening the switchboard, take care of your safety. If you find it difficult, you can take help of an electrician. These are the light and the fan switch. Check for the neutral wire and remove from the switches. Now take a pair of wire, connect one with the neutral wire and other to the switch where the neutral wire was connected. Cover the connections properly with the insulation tape so that there is no short circuit. Take another wire and do the same with the fan switch. Fix the switchboard back to its position. I have named the light switch as N1 and fan switch as N2. Here I have taken 5 output junction box according to this project. You can take less or more output junction box according to your requirements. Open the junction box, remove the neutral wire from the switches, take a pair of wire and connect it similarly as you have done it before with the light and the fan switches. Once you finish the connections, arrange the wire and screw up the junction box.
I have named the sports as N3, N4, N5 and N6.